as France give away the penalty yeah. for being offside. That's picked off by Luku, but it was a shot to nothing. Gibson Park knew it. And Ireland have a penalty in okay, front Graham. of the post, and you think they'll take the three right here. Crowley with his first Six Nations starting points on offer. He gets them, and Ireland, after seven minutes, have the first points of the 2024 Guinness Six Nations. That's not the best angle. There's another one coming up now. Keep an eye for Willemse on Porter, the clear out. Right, that's the best angle. Okay, yeah. Five. Reach this yellow card threshold. Bunker review. Bunker review it is as well, but right. Paul Willemse right. is going to the sideline. That is for sure. And in truth, that was a pretty straightforward decision for the officiating party to have to make. Too many laws in the game. Captains. Uh oh. Well, I say, uh oh, we don't know. Yeah, okay. But let's hear. Okay. okay. So, a review of the yellow card. It's going to remain a yellow card because there's a drop in height by Island One for the contact. Okay, happy? Perfect. Is cut down by Gail Fiku. They have the advantage of the extra man. Can they make it pay? Aki Gibson Park, yes, they can. Ireland in for the first try of the 2024 Guinness Six Nations. Created by Aki, finished by Gibson Park, and they eventually found that little bit of extra space. Well, as you say, finished by Gibson Park, but that is all about Bundy Aki. He's involved in this and all over the place. Firstly, that ball out the back. They're creating holes, he recycles himself. And it's the short line that we'll see in a second. Comes right off the shoulder. I think it's of Robbie Henshaw in the end. It is, yeah, that straight line. And then the, the dexterity to get the ball back inside, almost underneath his left hand. That's a really difficult skill to, to do when you're not being tackled by someone. Set! Lukou and the French scrum. Middle of the field, long way out, but still decent. Oh, possession and Ireland have given away the penalty at the scrum so this is a free play for Jalabert and Co to try and create something. Robbie Henshaw makes sure Dante doesn't get anywhere. Referee had already blown his whistle and that young man is about as impressed as the majority here. With an 85% success record from the tee he starts 2024 with an absolute cracker. Big hit from Malvaca, crowd love that. Hugo Keenan by again, the one to put the Irishman down. Van der Fleer, this time Willemse goes at the right height to make the tackle. Crowley again, Furlong once more. Ireland continue their work, nine phases inside that French 22. Ty Burn finds a huge hole, burn through, burn in. Ireland have their second try, and where, oh, where did the French defence go? Wow. That is an incredible score. And fair play to the Irish, because it's brilliant. Everything's to the line. They're making defenders make decisions at the last moment. There are big carries. We know that they can get through contact. But look at this from Crowley. Real delay on the pass. Dante very, very rarely makes a mistake. TMO, Ben Whitehouse, remember of Wales, Carl Dixon, the referee, Matt Carley, Jordan Way, the assistants, they're the ones that will help make any decision that needs making. Caelan Doris received the ball, and there's Paul Willemse once more, and this is a huge call. Yeah, still second yellow card, okay? So, um, it's gonna be a yellow card against uh, five. It's impossible to take out. So, it's going to the bunker for review to meet the threshold. It's a yellow card. And it's the second yellow card, so it's a red card. There you have it. Yeah, okay. Paul Willemse. So, we'll just get the mark over here. Is sent 
to the line and this time permanently for a second dangerous tackle in the opening 30 minutes of this game. Yep. And Ireland defensively go after it again and Malvaca is going to go quickly. France, half a metre short. Pick and go, but Byrne is there. And Ireland drive France back. Aldrich is the man in possession. Luku will get his hands on it. Antonio will use that bulk and power to drive forward. France are coming. France are coming. Penno! Dummy of Penno! Well, it came from that, the raising pace from Malvaca. And then it's just the, the speed of ball is just too quick. Decent delay on the pass from Jalabert, just straightened up to tie in Gibson Park, which left that hole. We've got a game on. Oh, we have Gibson a game. Park on. has a little look both sides. There's got to be a gap out there. It's 15 against 14. Can Ireland find it? Almost through. There for Doris. Out wide, Nash! Calvin Nash! in for his first Six Nations try, his first try for Ireland. His second cap, and those that have made their journey, well, it's dreamland. It's a brilliant score for Ireland. Great response. Massive carries again. McCarthy, I mean, he's, he's like a man mountain, but moves really quickly as well. That break, that half break from Henshaw was the difference, and then the offload off the deck. Now, did he ground it? Did he ground it? Paul Gabriel Ag. Well, that looks grounded to me before it's lifted up. Only has to touch the white line. So we need clear evidence to overturn the on-field decision. So take your time, Ben. So it's short there. Short there, but then it goes on. <laughs> ben Whitehouse. It's just kind of shrugged at that one, and I don't blame them. Two seconds. So stick with your on-field decision. Goes to Vim for the collapse. Oh, they love that here. They love us. They went short. And they went straight into the French defence. So then, into the final quarter of the game, we go. And Ireland have a line out five metres short of the French line. Another try for a bonus point. The bench will be emptied by Ireland after this passage of play. McCarthy, oh. Van der Fleer, and Sheehan at the back of the Irish Mall that is working and working and working! <laughs> try for Ireland, bonus point try, Dan Sheehan. And every time France throw a punch, Ireland throw another one. And Andy Farrell and his team will surely now believe that a rare, rare victory on French soil is within their grasp. Or well, most importantly, Every time they get slugged, the punch they hit them back with is a scoring punch. Ireland, in the final three minutes, are looking for what would be a fifth try in Marseille. And they might get it, you know. They might just get it. Kelleher puts an exclamation mark on the performance. It's a statement win for Ireland in France. The Grand Slam champions ain't giving up the crown easy. In a moment, sums up their performance this evening. Just not there. And Paul O'Connell and Andy Farrell start the 2024 Guinness Six Nations with an accurate, cohesive, professional, and in truth, entertaining away performance. And they're all smiles. And those that have traveled, and indeed many of the French around, applaud the victors. It's been comprehensive. It's been impressive. It's France 17, Ireland 38.